Okay, guys, this is the Angry Prepper. I am walking up Bangles Hill. Like I said in my short, they should call this shit Heart Attack Hill. Or old people, do not walk up this fucking hill, you'll die hill. Because this is pretty fucking steep. Now, as you can see, it keeps going up. And I'm at a little over a quarter mile. I still have about half a mile to go. And apparently, it's all uphill. Stupid me. Thing, and you know the crazy thing about this? I'm taking this hike. I don't even have a fucking pack on. Imagine if I had a pack. Forget about it. I would have died a quarter mile behind me. Two steps in, I would have been on the ground crying. Anyway, see you guys at the top. I only took a couple more steps. I'm impressed how this is going all the way up. But... All I have to say is, if I pass out, I'm throwing up the spam signal because you savages are the only ones that are going to race here to get me. If I throw up the Negro needs help symbol, all of a sudden people got to wash their car, wash their hair. They got to pick up my kids, but it's Sunday. They're somewhere in, this, in the streets. So, yeah, this is uh, pretty impressive. Or, or I'm just getting old. There is that. But I've done mountain hikes before. Never seen anything this constant, at least not in a long time. This hill looks like it got a whole lot worse. It just keeps going up, never ending. Anyway, I'm at the mark that it told me to be at, which was uh, 0.80 miles. And uh, it took me 31 minutes to get up this. So I'm gonna time myself going back down, but I don't see a campsite here or anything. I'm gonna walk up. I'm gonna walk up a little further and see if there's a campsite there. If not, I'll head back down. So I came down from there. I'm about 0.87 miles up this hill. I don't see any more trail markers, so I'm gonna call it quits here. Plus, I said I was gonna get to a 0.80 and stop. I went a little further, but yeah, no, uh, no trail. I don't even see a trail on the other side of this, what used to be a stream. I don't see any trail markers anywhere around here. Anyway, uh, I might explore a little more, but when I go back down, I am going to uh, time myself down because it took me about 37 minutes to get this far. So that's, uh, that's pretty slow. I should have probably got up here maybe in 20, 25 minutes. And that's without a pack. So with a pack would have probably taken me 40, 45 minutes. Anyway, guys, it's nice to be out the city, up in the mountains, breathing this pseudo fresh air. Uh, I'm definitely enjoying the day. The area that I normally camp at is officially closed. You can't camp there anymore. So I'm going to either head over to Old Mutt's place. If he's not there, I'm just going to head back to the city and uh, take it easy. But I will do a video once I get back down to the bottom. All right, guys. Thank you for dealing with my bullshit today because this was horrendous oh by the way uh the reason why i was acting like a bitch coming up this hill was because i didn't eat lunch and i didn't eat breakfast so i'm completely uh depleted so going back down should be fucking fun found it walked up a little further just followed the worn path there was a tree down there right over the path so that took me well, of course, but there was nothing but more hill. I don't know what the top is. I don't feel like walking to, uh, there's a waterfall, but that's about nine miles. I'll never make it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna walk ahead a little further, then start my trek back down. So going back down the hill, I didn't realize how steep it was until just now. This is uh, pretty cool. Listen, I'm enjoying this hike. Uh, maybe next time I'll eat lunch and or breakfast and I would have felt better. But uh, I thought there was a campsite up here. There isn't. The next campsite is three miles straight up this hill. And then there's a, a nine mile marker where there's a waterfall. I think you can camp there. So, um, yeah, I'm not doing that today. So, and I need to bring my pack with me. Maybe if I would have bought my pack, I would have taken eight hours to get to that three mile marker. And I would have camped there for the night. 
but yeah heading back down this hill um like i said did not realize how steep it was so hopefully it takes me half the time if i start rolling down this hill and screaming at the same time um yeah i'll probably get down a lot faster so i'm gonna try not to roll down this hill but if i do roll down this hill you guys will hear about it because you guys will hear me screaming like a fucking bitch so i made it to the bottom uh bangles bangle hills is what i was aiming for uh it took me 24 minutes to get back down i did say i was going to walk a little further up by the time i got to the bottom of the hill i was at a mile point zero two so uh, I walked a little further, then I came down. So as you can see, there is Venati Falls, which is eight miles, not three. I wasn't making that one. And then Upper Cherry Town Road, 9.7. I would have probably been dead by the time I got there. Anyway, uh, quick lesson, guys. Don't do a hike like this if you didn't eat breakfast, lunch, and you didn't drink water. I started getting dehydrated. My legs were fucking killing me. They started shaking. My back was locking up. I was like, I am not that fucking old. And then I realized no lunch, no breakfast, and um, yeah, and no water. So that was stupid. Keep in mind, I did hike a little earlier today to do a photography thing on my own. So I did my own little photography session. And uh, yeah, I uh, didn't drink any water for that hike either. So I'm pretty dehydrated. What I'm gonna do now is head to a restaurant get something to eat um there goes my fancy car there you see all the ash on it that's from fucking canada thank you canada for fucking my car after i washed it so anyway this is where i was coming tonight to camp out i used to camp here all the time now it says camping prohibited i'm not sure why it did start during covid um if you go down to let's take a quick look let's say i was like how long has it been you know abandoned or, or not, not allowed to camp on so of course i walk in here and they have signs all over the place and i was going to push the limit because i usually put camp right there with my dead center screen with my hammock i was going to camp there tonight and then you see another sign there so i'm like they're really serious about this shit so i go over to the fireplace that i used to use especially during the winter time and the growth told me it all told me it all uh how when was the last time this thing was used Right, so this is probably going on almost three years now, or about three years. The last time I came here was COVID, and they told me and my buddy we couldn't camp out here. And they had all these signs all over the place. And you can see even the pathways are grown in. That used to be a pathway right there, and that's grown in. Uh, this is starting to grow in. I think people might be hanging out here during the week, but or, you know, on the weekends. But I think you can hang out here on the weekends, you just can't camp. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of disappointing that I drove all the way up here to do that little photography session on my own and then camp out for the night. Now I got to find another spot or just go home. At this point, the way I'm feeling, I think I'm just going to shoot home, grab some water, get something to eat, go home and then find another spot up here that I can actually camp at. So the last time I came here, this table wasn't here. This fire pit was here. And again, it looks like it hasn't been used in a, quite a while. Or maybe that is recent, actually, that right here. But again, no camping signs all over the place. I mean, could you do stealth camping here? Yeah, you can get away with some shit. You know, the rangers might think you're on the other side of the uh, on the other side of the road. But yeah, this is like my one of my favorite spots right here when I camp, right by the water. You listen to this all night, and the wind coming through the uh, the valley here because we're between two mountains. Uh, this is a nice nice spot. And now we can't camp anymore. I do want to find out why. What's the uh, what's the reasoning behind it? Down the road, this way, um, there are some more camp spots. I got to drive, I think, a quarter mile down the road. I can go camping. But, um, yeah, man, they closed a lot of this down. So I was thinking about doing stealth camping and coming over here, laying under this rock right here, straight ahead. I'll show you. laying under the rock and setting a fire, which you can't see from the road, right? Maybe, I mean, it'd be a little tight to set a fire here actually, but still the fire underneath the rocks. And then I, I lean this way. I lean over here and I have to set a little fire, a little pocket fire, nothing crazy. It's not that uh, cold out anyway, right? And then I got the water right here. 
I'll do that next time. But I'll try to do some stealth camping in here since they're telling us no camping. I'm like, who are you telling can't go camp? This is public land, fucko. Anyway, that being said, guys, uh, this is the Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.